Stefanos, this is the fourth time that you've played the semifinals here on this court at the Australian Open, but now you're into your first final here. How would you describe this moment? Um, I first watched uh, Marcos do it a few, uh, a couple of years ago. Yes. <laughs> Bagdadis, yeah. So I watched Bagdadis a few years ago, being in the finals, uh, playing in this court, um, and I dreamed as a kid to maybe one day uh, get to, to, to play on this court and compete against the best players in the world. So I'm happy with the fight I put out there today. And uh, yeah, it brings back memories from uh, watching it as a kid on TV and cheering him on. Um, unfortunately, it didn't go his way, but you know, he, he, uh, he's in our hearts and uh, I always uh, consider him as one of my favorite players. I noticed you looking around, you were soaking up the atmosphere, you're feeling the crowd, I mean, it must be an amazing moment for you now to finally joining Marcus from, from Cyprus now, you're in there as well. He's here, thank God. He's here. <laughs> He's here, yes, somewhere. Um, look, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, um, I, I feel blessed. I feel blessed uh, for the fact that I'm able to, to play tennis at this level. Um, I've been wanting for many years now to put um, Greek tennis on the map, and uh, me and Maria have done an incredible job, I think. Uh, I know, I know it probably doesn't mean as much for Australians because they've been always producing players and you know, they've always had their fair share of uh, um, um, high top uh, players, but uh, you know, coming from a small country like Greece, I'm, I'm so grateful that I get uh, support like this. Um, I would have never thought that uh, you know, I would be um, treated so well here, so I'm extremely happy that I'm in the final now, and let's see what happens. It was not easy to get there. It took you three hours and 21 minutes. It looked like it might be able to end in three sets for you, but Karen was not in the mood to go down quietly. What was the difference in the fourth set? How did you turn that around? Because the third set, you had the match points and you didn't get it. Well, I thought, uh, you know, I thought uh, how hard I've worked to get to this position and, you know, it takes a little bit more. Uh, I wasn't able to deliver that on the third set and I was extremely close to, to, to get it. Uh, but uh, it's one of these moments that, you know, if you, if, if you stick around, if you, um, I think, dedicate yourself even more and uh, if you concentrate on these important moments even more, uh, it pays off quite well. Um, and always, you know, having that ambience in the... In, in, in the background somewhere feels feels so good when I'm able to hit the ball and uh, get such a reward back from the fans. Well, you do the work. You're the one out here playing the points. You put the time in, but your team also puts the time in, led by your father, but you've also added, added some local flavor. Someone from Australia, Mark Philippoussis, also on the squad now. What what has Mark added to the team? Sense of humor. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Servant volley, which I, I never use, but uh, you know, it's always there somewhere. It's there. It's there. Yeah. If I need it, it's there. Yeah. Good. So. That's the first semifinal. There's another one coming up here, not too long. That's going to feature Novak Djokovic and Tommy Paul. Um, we're obviously going to we're going to be watching it closely. Love to get your thoughts on that, and wonder if you're going to take a peek at that one later on tonight. Oh, we have a player that has played nine or ten finals here. I don't know how many. Nine. So, nine. Yeah. Okay, you can verify that. Yep. And uh, a player of my generation. Um, I grew up playing with Tommy in the juniors categories. We played each other a lot of times in juniors, so it's a kind of sort of beautiful as well to see him come from behind and be able to uh, play those semis uh, in Grand Slam events and, you know, uh, brings back memories for sure. Well, you're going to be trying to create some memories. It's your second major final on Sunday. And you'll also not only be trying to win your first major, but if you win, that would also put you at number one in the world. What would it mean to you?
What would success on Sunday mean to you? I like that number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's all about you. It's singular. It's it's one. <laughs> um, it's um, you know that's these are the moments that I've I've been working hard for to to be able to play in finals like this, but finals that um, have a bigger meaning than just the final. So it's a Grand Slam final. Uh, I'm fighting for the number one spot. Uh, it's a childhood dream to to be capturing that number one spot one day. Um, I'm I'm close. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm happy that this opportunity comes here in Australia, and not, let's say, somewhere else. You know, because this is a place of significance. So, uh, let's do it, guys. Let's go. Congratulations to Stefano Tsitsipas into the finals. Well, number one, it has a nice ring to it, and now Stefano Tsitsipas is just one win away from making that a reality. The Greek fans, they will be in a frenzy over the next 48 hours as they count down to that big men's final here on Sunday. Tsitsipas signing off after a great three-and-a-half-hour four-set battle against Karen Hatchinoff through to his first Australian Open final. It's his favourite slam. He says it feels like his home slam. He gets so much love from fans and it gives them so much love right back. So he will play the winner of tonight's Novak Djokovic Tommy Paul match coming up on Rod Laver Arena. He's uh, written a little African word there. He likes the Aussie slang and now an African word to sign off from that semi-final.